Everyone has to admit that at the present time, we are becoming more and more lazy. Automated means of transportation such as elevators and escalators are increasingly popular. Instead of climbing up just a few floors on foot or by car, taxis are also replacing cycling and walking just a few kilometers. So why do people use their feet less and less? It is a fact that people gradually hate having to use their feet in daily activities. In the short term, they may only realize the convenience and time-saving benefits of not having to walk without paying attention to the negative consequences later. Meanwhile, walking is an extremely simple and effective exercise for those who do not have the time or conditions to practice at the gym. Coming to today's video, I will completely change your thinking about spending time walking every day and help you have a healthier lifestyle in the future. Please join me in researching and receiving new information. Before starting the video, press the like and subscribe button to receive notifications of interesting videos from Fitness 24H. Number 1. Walking helps nerve cells in the brain function well. Alzheimer's disease is a brain disease that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. This is a disease of memory loss syndrome that has a very serious impact on daily life. The number of Americans infected with the disease has now surpassed 5 million. This disease will gradually get worse over time and can cause death in the final stages. Although there are many different symptoms, we can see signs such as forgetfulness, confusion, getting lost, or even difficulty speaking and writing. This disease is currently very difficult to treat, but we can take many different scientific measures to anticipate it. Many studies have demonstrated that brain areas that control thinking and memory in people who regularly participate in physical activities have larger volumes than in people who do not exercise, will help enhance memory, thinking ability, and concentration by improving mood and sleep. Anxiety disorder or depression is one of the causes of this condition. According to the journal Alzheimer's Disease, sports are beneficial for the brain and will especially keep it in the best condition. Physical activity will impact nerve and brain functions by improving blood flow throughout the body, including the brain, and increasing levels of certain proteins that help maintain nerve cells in their best condition. We do not need to participate in intense sports activities to achieve these benefits. Just walking is enough to make the brain work more effectively. According to study author David Merrill, just keeping a level of walking of 4,000 steps a day can have a positive impact on brain health. This is a target number that anyone can easily reach, achieve. Just thanks to walking, the areas responsible for memory and learning ability will improve. And related to Alzheimer's disease, the hippocampus, an area important for memory, will also be greatly expanded in people who regularly exercise. So we can conclude that people only need to keep their body in good working condition every day. And at the same time, we will also activate the brain area to be in the best state. Number 2. Walking helps improve eyesight. Besides, by affecting the nerves in the brain, walking also helps people improve their eyesight. Scientists at the University of California, Santa Barbara, discovered this after observing the effects of exercise on the brain and showed that walking helped strengthen brain cells in charge of processing activities. Visual Information Processing Regular exercise has been shown to reduce eye pressure, especially in patients with glaucoma symptoms. In addition, regular exercise will help us maintain a reasonable weight to prevent diabetes. Diabetes is a disease that is 20 to 30 times more likely to lead to blindness than normal people. This is one of the leading causes of vision loss in the world today. Number 3. Walking helps improve cardiovascular health and prevent heart disease. According to information from the American Heart Association, walking can improve cholesterol levels in the body. We need cholesterol to create healthy cells, but high cholesterol levels will put people at greater risk of heart disease. High cholesterol levels will also cause fat to accumulate in the blood vessels blocking blood flow through the arteries to pump blood to the heart. And we just need to keep the habit of walking every day to destroy these disease-causing agents. Furthermore, walking is considered a miraculous method to improve human mind and mood because excessive stress will also cause people to experience extremely dangerous conditions such as heart attack or stroke. 
You can use a heart rate monitor or smartwatch when exercising to monitor your heart rate throughout your workout. However, I have advice for you. You should only do walking exercises with your heart rate at 50 to 85 percent of your maximum heart rate. Just doing light walking exercises can help improve your cardiovascular health. Therefore, we can see that cardiologists always advise patients with heart disease or elderly patients at risk of heart disease to walk every morning. Number 4. Walking helps improve the respiratory system. During exercise, the lungs are one of the internal organs that need to work the most to provide oxygen to the body, to provide energy, and remove carbon dioxide from the body. When we exercise, our muscles always need a lot of oxygen to keep in perfect working condition. For patients with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD for short, Gentle walking is an ideal exercise to support the patient during the treatment process. In addition, walking regularly also helps people with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease improve their health, prevent osteoporosis, and prevent muscle atrophy and stiffness. Gentle walking will help strengthen the muscles and help the organs of the respiratory system work more effectively, thereby helping to reduce the feeling of shortness of breath. If you are feeling heavy in breathing, Start practicing walking from today. You can walk every morning in the park to enjoy the fresh air. Really pay attention and observe your breathing according to the doctor's recommendations for walking exercises. Maximum efficiency can be achieved. Number 5. Walking brings many benefits to the pancreas. According to the World Health Organization, absolute lack of insulin due to destruction of pancreatic beta cells or lack of insulin is the cause of diabetes. This disease is essentially a metabolic disorder caused by many causes, typically due to increased blood glucose, fat and protein metabolism disorders, and insulin deficiency, commonly found in obese people or the elderly. To treat this disease, we must combine scientific treatment and healthy lifestyle adjustments. In particular, physical activity is the most necessary and extremely important factor for you to be able to fight this fierce disease. Walking will help lower and stabilize blood glucose, bringing great results to patients with diabetes. According to research statistics, more than 20% of people with type 2 diabetes have truly recovered from the disease by simply adjusting their daily lifestyle without using any medications or performing any surgery. I think walking is really a miracle medicine that costs nothing and doesn't have any side effects. Combine improving your healthy diet with the habit of walking every day and you will be surprised by your changes. Number 6. Walking helps improve the digestive system. Nutrition coach Emma Board stated that the main benefit of walking after eating is the positive impact on the digestive system. She said that walking can support the digestive system by stimulating the stomach and intestines, causing food to move faster, stimulating the digestive system as well as reducing indigestion, heartburn, and constipation. There's no need to go hiking or perform complicated exercises. Just taking a gentle walk after a meal can bring many health benefits. You can do walking exercises 15 to 60 minutes after finishing a meal because this is the time when the amount in our body is at its highest level. Number 7. Walking helps strengthen muscles. In addition to supporting digestion, walking will help your muscles absorb more glucose from meals. Although walking is not a weight training exercise that can help you have a body with massive muscle mass or six-pack abs like a bodybuilder, walking can help you have a toned body. Sure. However, walking exercise will help your muscles become firmer, helping us improve health as well as endurance, helping the body have energy to participate in daily activities throughout the day. Besides, if you want to have a muscular body, you can combine walking with weight-bearing exercises to increase your fitness level. Number 8. Walking helps bone and joint cells work more strongly. Bone and joint health will improve if you walk regularly. When walking, the bones and joints in the body will be affected by certain forces concentrated in the calves, thighs, knee joints, and hands, helping to increase the flexibility and elasticity of the bones. Thanks to the knee joint, we can move easily. So what happens if we suffer from knee osteoarthritis? At this time, the cartilage in the knee joint will be worn out, torn, or even completely damaged. Therefore, 
Before being at risk of contracting this disease, people should regularly exercise to avoid problems in walking. Besides, the hip bones and spine also become stronger when we perform walking exercises properly. However, for patients with knee osteoarthritis or disc herniation, I advise you not to do the exercises yourself, but to rely on physical therapy exercises as directed by your doctor. Number 9. Walking helps improve emotions and mind stress often occurs for many reasons, causing us to always feel tired, have difficulty sleeping, lose appetite, and thousands of negative thoughts appear in our heads. I think this is something no one wants to be in this situation. If you feel like you have difficulty sleeping, can't sleep deeply, or have nightmares, try walking every day. This will help you improve blood circulation to the nervous organs, releasing negative energy in the body. People who regularly exercise will often have better sleep than normal people because their brains are always fully nourished. Furthermore, when you do exercise, specifically walking, your body will release a hormone called endorphin. This hormone is a natural pain-relieving hormone produced by the body. This substance will be extremely useful for us to relax, regulate the central nervous system and help us be happy, have many sources of negative energy, and even help us promote feelings, personal inspiration, and creativity. When I took the time to research walking, I could see that walking is the easiest exercise to do and can help you completely transform your health to your mind. People, in addition to daily exercise at the gym, I also spend about 30 to 45 minutes walking with my family members every morning. 30 to 45 minutes is a perfect amount of time for you to change yourself with just an easy walking exercise. In addition, you can also break up your walking exercise by going up and down the stairs instead of the elevator, walking to buy groceries, or going for a walk in the evening. With gentle walking exercises, you only need to keep your walking speed about 4 to 6 kilometers per hour to greatly improve your health. Walking is a very familiar activity for humans, but sometimes we are still not able to optimize the effects of this exercise. Let's do scientific walking exercises with family members so we can stay healthy without having to use any drugs or functional foods. I hope that you will pay more and more attention to your health. Before ending the video, press the like and subscribe button to receive notifications of interesting videos from Fitness24H. I will continue to bring you a lot of interesting knowledge about fitness. And now, goodbye and see you again. See you.